Hello everybody, my name is Milton Isaiah and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can calculate the land surface emissivity of an area by using the NDVA based approach, NDVA classification based approach and um, the just to make a uh, clarification um, the emissivity is used usually used in the estimation of um, land surface temperature from satellite imagery uh, specifically uh, thermo infrared uh, bands from satellite imagery and in this tutorial uh, this is the method i'm going to use um, it is the classification based method therefore uh, we will do conditions uh, on the NDVA raster to determine the land surface emissivity um, when the NDVA value is um, less than 0 0.185 we'll assign a value of 0 0.995 and when the NDVA value is between negative 0 0.185 and um, 0 0.157 we'll assign the value of 0 0.9 970 and when the NDVI value is um, greater than or equal to 0 0.157 and less than or equal to 0 0.727 then this linear relationship will be used to calculate the land surface emissivity and when the NDVI value is greater than 0 0.727 then the value emissivity value of 0 0.990 will be assigned so to perform this we are going to use our NDVI which is uh, obtained from satellite imagery of Landsat 7 enhanced thematic uh, Landsat 7 and to begin with we are going to use the raster calculator so we'll open the raster calculator and uh, um, I've created a separate file with the commands which are required so I'll just simply copy the command and paste um, let me make a short explanation of the command um, we are going to use the condition statement which is available in ArcGIS and uh, the syntax of the condition is this if the NDVI is less than 0 point, negative 0 0.185 then the value if condition satisfied and if the condition meets this requirement then this emissivity value will be assigned and if the value meets uh, the NDVI value meets this condition then this linear relationship will be used and finally if the NDVI meets this condition then this value will be assigned now to complete the process i'm going to specify the output and i'm calling my output mcvt.tif click on save and finally okay And finally, we have an emissivity file. We can apply color ramp to a file. And um, I usually prefer this one. Click OK. And this is the land surface emissivity for study area. Click on Identify Tool. We click on this. We see an MCVT value of 0 0.97 is assigned to this particular pixel. While um, in this area, an MCVT value of 0 0.926781 is assigned.
and here we go thank you for watching my tutorial and if you have liked my video please sub subscribe and give me a like thank you very much